The Durham investigation into the origins of the Russia-Trump investigation has now been active for more than two full years. Initiated by Attorney General Bill Barr following Mueller's completion of his special counsel investigation, Durham immediately began his work in the spring of 2019. The announcement of Durham's appointment was received with much fanfare, but hopes for a thorough investigation with charges and prosecutions for those who surveilled the Trump campaign have slowly faded with time as no material results have been forthcoming. The completion of Durham's investigation was initially promised by Barr in the summer of 2020, but as the presidential election loomed closer, it became apparent that Durham's investigation would not be released until 2021, if ever. Shortly before resigning his position, Barr appointed Durham as special counsel in a move designed to thwart political pushback from the new Biden administration. The potential impact from Biden's administration is no small matter, as his Department of Justice has been heavily staffed by some of the very same people responsible for helping to promote the Russia collusion theories. And while interest and speculation continue to surround Durham's investigation, few details have been made public. We previously examined why Durham was appointed in the first place. Today we take a closer look at the first year of Durham's investigation and discuss the details that have emerged and what they reveal about Durham's progress. What has Durham achieved thus far? And where is his work taking him? How will the new Biden administration appointments at the Department of Justice affect his work? Will the outcome reveal the truth behind the plot against Trump? Or are conservatives going to be disappointed again? Hi everyone, and welcome to Truth Over News with Jeff Carlson and Hans Mankin.